I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright. And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Messy Vegan Mama. I am here today with a um, $50 challenge grocery haul from Aldi's. Thank you all so much for voting. Um, I'm going to keep doing these $50 challenges and it was really exciting to um, go to Aldi's because I never go there. So it was just, it was more of a challenge, which I just find so much fun. Um, that being said, uh, I just want to say I hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving and this haul is coming to you the Monday after Thanksgiving. So what do you all buy <laughs> the Monday after or the week after Thanksgiving? What do you find yourselves eating or craving? Because let's face it, we ate a lot, didn't we? <laughs> I mean, I know I did. I know my son did. We still have so much food left over and I'm like over it. Um, I will keep feeding it to my son though <laughs> because he's not over it yet. But I am here with this giant thing of water because I just feel like I need to like cleanse myself after all that. So tell me what do you guys um, eat in the week after Thanksgiving? Do you feel like you need a cleanse? Do you feel like you need fresh produce? Stay away from all of the heavier items. That's what I'm kind of feeling. So I will show you what I got from Aldi's for a $50 grocery haul. Keeping in mind, we do still have some leftovers that I'm sure my son will be eating. Um, for me, I'm going to try to stick with more healthier things. So yeah, that's about it. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Um, my son and I went to visit family in Connecticut and it was wonderful. It was like the best Thanksgiving I've had in years. <laughs> Last Thanksgiving, my son was super sick. So, and it was my birthday, so we just didn't do anything. <laughs> so that was great. But this year was wonderful. So I'm super thankful for that. And I am thankful for you all watching my videos. Um, if you are watching this, please hit that subscribe button because it really helps me continue to make these. Um, and look forward to another poll for next week's um, shopping. And I hope you have a great rest of your week. I will see you again next Monday. <laughs> okay, so this is what I got from Aldi's. This is $50 worth of food and I'm pretty excited for it. I have not been to Aldi's in, hmm, it's probably been maybe a year and I never really bought too much there. But having this uh, $50 um, challenge in mind really helped me out to figure out what I'm gonna buy. So here goes nothing. Let's start with the produce. I did get more produce this week than I have in the past. I'm just craving something like healthy, like I said. My son did grab this big bag of apples um, and I might even eat these. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, I am, my body is craving health. So I might have some apples for a snack. I need to start, I don't know, I need to add something into my diet. It's definitely fruit. I don't eat enough fruit. So I might even have some of those. Then this big old bag of grapes here. Um, definitely gonna munch on some of those. I don't know what it is. I'm feeling like juices. Like I need some sort of juicy, <laughs> yummy, healthy uh, stuff going into my body. So I did get a big thing of those. My son, of course, wanted strawberries. He said this was the only container that looked good. Um, yeah, they look good. We'll see. If they, I mean, they smell good. So, yeah, he always gets those. You'll always see that in my hauls unless they're out or they look totally 
inedible. So yeah, got that for him to snack on. They'll be gone super fast. And we picked out, my son actually picked this out. I'm so excited. These um, challenges have actually helped him kind of understand more about eating healthy and budgeting. So it's kind of cool that we're both doing this at the same time. Like he, he comes with me and he helps me meal prep. So this is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I got this, he picked it out, but I'm glad about this. This looks really good. So Boston lettuce, greenhouse grown. I am like, like I really just want healthy food. So this green, look how green that is. It looks so good. I'm excited for this. Um, and I will say I really do plan on gardening come spring this year because I have slacked on that and I really want to have like a huge garden even like an indoor one year round so if anyone has any tips or anything um or videos I can watch that you think will help me or whatever please comment below because that's a huge huge goal of mine this coming year I really want an indoor garden like a big one but I don't want to spend the money on one of those clunky um what are they? They're like, what are they called? Hydro something? I forget, but I don't, not that I wouldn't mind having one, but you know, it, it would have to be free. I'm not going to spend over a thousand dollars on one. So give me all your tips and tricks on growing uh, a garden indoors year round. But with that being said, um, let's go to the rest of this stuff. So I did grab one more thing of produce, just a little avocado. We are going to have taco night. That's pretty much what the lettuce is going to be used for taco night um, and have this avocado. I still have beans on hand. So I didn't need to buy beans. Um, I have hot sauce. I have rice. I have chips. So I didn't need any of that. So we're just going to have like a, a taco night. Um, with that in mind, I grabbed this vegan cheddar cheese. These shreds, these are from the brand Earth Grown, but you can find throughout Aldi's, and I think, um, I think, I don't think everything from Earth Grown is vegan, so just be careful. You know, look at the label, especially, it'll say vegan, I believe, if it's the Earth Grown brand and it is vegan, I believe it says vegan right on it, so just look out for that. But we did get this with um, Taco Night in mind, and I'm sure we'll use it for something else, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what else I might make. I did make a meal plan, but um, things change throughout the week, but we've been pretty much sticking to a meal plan. So this will probably be just for taco night. And let's see, what else did I get? I got this thin sliced bread. Now they actually had Dave's killer bread there. It was like a few dollars more than this and this looked pretty similar. So I figured I would just get this. Um, you know, bread is pretty much bread. Uh, my favorite is Seven Hills, which I find at Target. I don't really find anywhere else. Um, but these are mostly for my son this week to have grilled cheese sandwiches. We have leftover, um, what do we have? We have some homemade cheese I made that I use for grilled cheeses, or we can even use this um, cheddar style shreds. Or, oh, I still have chayo too. Okay, well, we have options, so that's good. See what I'm saying? Like, I'm spending $50 a week and still having so much food. It's kind of crazy. I, I love it, though. Okay, let's go into some of our dinners. So, um, I grabbed some linguine pasta. Well, I should say my son grabbed this. We're going to have pasta night um, with um, meatless meatballs that I did get. Actually, let me show you those now. But we did get this linguine for that in mind. And I still have sauce from Target, I believe. I, I still have some sauce, so we're gonna use that with um, the linguine and these. This is in the frozen section of all these. These zesty Italian meatless meatballs. Now I've heard amazing things about these, but I've never tried them myself. I'm not like a huge meatball fan, but sometimes, sometimes you want them. So we did get these. Trader Joe's used to sell some meatless meatballs and I don't know why they stopped. They were good. I did get them a few times and I've heard everyone rave about them. But one thing I found out, um, cause I was kind of like Googling what kind of meals I can make from Aldi's food for vegan. And 
I found out that Trader Joe's is like a like a affiliated with um, Aldi's. Like it came afterwards, I think, but the same owners, something like that. I don't know, but that was kind of a cool fact. I did not know that. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be for one of our dinners with that linguine. Then I got these um, chickpea rotini. I'm actually trying to think of a yummy pasta salad to make with this. Um, so I haven't really figured out what I'm gonna put in it or on it, but that's one meal idea. Uh, it's chickpea, so that's, you know, a little bit healthier than the regular pasta. So I did get that for a pasta salad in mind. Um, way cheaper than Banza or Banza. I can never remember how you say it. B-A-N-Z-A. I get that at Target a lot or Whole Foods, but this was way cheaper. So this is kind of cool. I love going to Aldi's and how I might be stuck going there every week. <laughs> Um, and then I got these as a snack, maybe for my son, if he'll try them. He's not been a huge cracker fan for a very long time. Earth Balance used to have these vegan Cheez-It cracker, like these cheese type crackers, and he loved them. Then they just stopped making them or maybe just stopped selling them around me because we can't find them anywhere. But I... I'm interested in trying these. So these are cauliflower crackers, cheddar flavored, and they're vegan. Again, um, look for this. This is not the Earth Grown brand. I was thinking it was going to be, but no. This is Simply Nature, which I did find. The bread is that same brand, um, and this pasta too. So you'll see that around the store as well, Simply Nature. But again, you need to look at the labels to make sure it's actually vegan. But I don't think I ever tried these, so I'm excited for that. I love Cheez-Its. I mean, obviously I'm not eating the regular Cheez-Its, but I used to eat them and I used to love them. So I'm kind of excited. I'll let you know if these are good. Uh, let's see, what else did I get? Oh, this was kind of interesting. So I was looking for pecans to make, um, I'm gonna make a pumpkin pecan bread that's gonna be like healthy and for breakfast or snack, but I couldn't find the pecans, but my son found this and he was like interested. He really wanted this and I let him get it because he doesn't really go for healthier snacks. <laughs> so this was kind of cool that he wants this. It's just seed and raisins, it's got some peanuts in it, almonds, uh, cashews. So this is, you know, if he'll eat this as a snack, that's like him moving on to some more healthier things. So that's kind of exciting too. And I really didn't buy much for snacks. I don't think I really bought anything besides this and the crackers that he probably won't eat. And then I did find the pecans. <laughs> I found them later um, on, uh, where were they? They were on like an end cap. So uh, I originally was gonna grab walnuts instead, but then I found the pecans. So I did get these to make the pumpkin bread. So that's exciting too, super cheap too. I'm telling you, I might be an Aldi's girl now. I'm sorry, I might be trading trading up from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna become a trader to Trader Joe's. Oh no, I can't help it. It was like so cheap. And then let's go over here. I got this um, steamed broccoli stir fry. Again, I am so excited that I found this and I feel like this shouldn't be that exciting, but it is. You wanna know why? Because of these water chestnuts. I feel like I can never find a stir fry that has like everything that I like in it. And if it does have everything I like, it never has the water chestnuts. And I always want that when I want a stir fry. So I'm very excited for this one. So another reason to go back to all these. So I got, it has, what does it have? It has broccoli florets, sliced carrots, sugar snap peas, and water chestnut. My son likes all of this, except I don't think he's ever tried water chestnuts. But we'll see if he likes that. So this is exciting. And I have a ton of rice, so I'm going to make a stir fry with that. And let's see, there's only two more items left. I got this. My son usually has cereal all the time for like a quick breakfast or a snack. But they didn't have, obviously they didn't have you know, a brand of cereal that he likes. He usually gets the Panda Puffs. 
But I told him, go check out, go check it out and see if there's anything you like. And he picked this, which is a pumpkin seed and flax granola cereal by Simply Nature. Now I cannot remember the name, but there is one very similar to this. And I don't remember the brand name, but they sell it at, is it Nature's Path? It's Nature's Path. They sell it at Trader Joe's and they sell it at Target and probably Whole Foods, but this looks so similar. <laughs> and even the ingredients, where are they? Even the ingredients are pretty similar. So I'm telling you, I am an Aldi's girl now. Like this was so cheap. So that's exciting, we got that. And the last thing is almond milk. Of course I had to get almond milk. This one is unsweetened, vanilla flavored, and yeah, that's it. Way cheaper than any other place you can find it. And that's all I got, my friends. So I'm excited for all these. I will keep putting the poll up, but you know, feel free to choose whatever you like. And I will come up with a meal plan based off of whatever it is you choose because I think it's fun. But all these is a huge hit. <laughs> so that's exciting. Um, and that's all I have for you. I will see you again next week. I hope you have a great week. Please hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. <laughs> Thank you.